I can confirm that we will lift the 1% public sector pay cap. The pay cap, while never desirable, was necessary to protect jobs and services. However, with inflation on the rise, it is not sustainable. Our nurses, teachers, police officers and firefighters deserve a fairer deal for the future. Indeed, the need to recruit the staff that our public services depend on also demands a new approach. We will therefore aim to secure pay rises from next year that are affordable, but which also reflect the real life circumstances our public servants face and the contribution our public services make to the overall prosperity of our country. The budget bill process will also set income tax rates for next year. We will always exercise the utmost responsibility in setting tax rates, and we will not <coughs> simply transfer the burden of austerity to the shoulders of those who can least afford it. However, I'm also mindful that as a minority government, we must build alliances across Parliament in support of our budget. Uh, for all of us, it must be the interests of our public services, households and economy that drive our decisions. We know that continued Westminster austerity, the consequences of Brexit, the impact of demographic changes will put increasing pressure on our public services and on our ability to provide the infrastructure and support that our businesses need to thrive. So the time is right, in my view, to open a discussion about how responsible and progressive use of our tax powers could help build the kind of country we want to be.